What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Hunter Hunter episode 128 Where we left off last time, not sure if Meruem's dead or not, he looks like he should be fucking dead, but we don't actually know Um, and yeah that's, uh, that's the gist of like, we're, I don't know, I don't know if I want to go into like everything else that happened Um, going in Pito we're gonna go fight. I don't know if we're gonna see that at all this episode. Um, Komugi is healed, and she is uh, in a hostage situation. Uh, what else? Anything else? Um, I think that's it. That's the important stuff. So yeah. Um, other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. How does she know that? How does she know the king's coming? Is she connected to him? Because maybe you had to like... I don't know. I don't know how she knows he's coming. Maybe she can like she can sense his aura now. Since maybe her N is even stronger because she's an ant now. I don't really know. But um... Wow, this is a good fucking episode. Okay. So now we have to worry about... Them, well, I don't know. Maybe not. I was gonna say be a little worried about Komugi because, well, kind of do because you don't know what the fuck is gonna happen. Like, I don't know if they'll listen to Gon and not and, and hurt her if he tells uh, them to, but hopefully not. Um, but if the king's coming back and he doesn't remember her, or maybe only remembers a little bit about her, he might still kill her. You know, if he doesn't have all of his memories, what is he gonna remember? Is he gonna remember her as a an opponent, as a teacher? Or as a friend, but he doesn't really understand that concept. And he was, he was already confused about how he felt about her before. I mean, now having memory loss is just going to make it even worse. Uh, it's just, I'm, uh, it's unpredictable. It's an unpredictable situation. I don't really, I can't guess, you know? Um, it was really sweet to see his guards offer up their lives for him, or part of it, part of their life force. I really thought they were going to keep going until they died, but... He said he doesn't have a taste for anything else now, at least in that state he was in. I don't, he doesn't really remember much of it, I don't think, but, or it's a little fuddled, but, or muddled. Um, um, he, if he remembers, or let's just say he eats a human, I don't know, like he kills Komugi and eats her, just for example. Um, if he says it tastes like trash... I mean, because she has Nen, so she shouldn't taste like absolute garbage, but nothing in comparison to the ants. Are you just going to, like, have them eat each other until, I mean, or maybe just you'll just eat ants. And then the rest of, like, the lower ones don't really need to eat Nen users. They can just eat regular humans, you know, like, maybe save the Nen users, like, a delicacy for yourself. Which I think he was already doing, but, um... And they're gonna make the rest of them into soldiers. Will he remember all that? Will he want to continue doing all of that or not? I mean, you're not the same anymore. You have two other people in your head now. Like, they're... I think... They're in his head, but they're also a part of him. So if they... Their emotions or whatever, like, I think they're gonna, like, influence him um, from now on. Like, he's not... It's not just him, you know? You're three parts now. Three people-ish, kind of. So the way you thought about things or will think about things from here on out it'll be a little different i would think maybe not they said they could feel what he's feeling but maybe he can't feel what they're feeling maybe he can just tell what they're thinking if he's uh actively trying to mm. it seems like he has to be focusing on it because he didn't hear anything that um pop said and if he did i think he'd be um, questioning him, interrogating him, more like, uh, what else? I think, I think they're gonna end up eating humans still, though, if he remember, even if he remembers everything. I don't, I don't think he's stupid enough to say, oh yeah, let's just eat each other, because I refuse to eat anything else, and even if he refuses to eat anything else, okay, you don't have any guards, but I don't think he'll just keep going on and on and on until there are no ants left, right? And you can just keep making more, too, right? You can just keep make humans into, um, make those humanoid soldiers, right? They're like Palm. So, just don't kill, um, 
Pito because I think she has a big part in creating them, right? What else? Um, it does take away Natro's sacrifice a bit. It takes a, away from it a bit because now what was it for? I mean, he's he's alive again, so it just kind of it it sucks. Like almost feels like he died for nothing now because the whole reason he was alive was to take out the king. And now that our best bet at getting rid of him is gone, now no one stands a chance. Even especially now since he ate some of his some of the life force from his guards, or he's even stronger now. He stockpiles power. So now what do you do? Now who's gonna be able to stop him? No one. No one except for maybe Komugi. And I don't mean like physically stop him. I just mean like maybe get him to reconsider things. Like I don't even know if she knows what he's doing like does she know that he's trying to uh make humans food and that's it like have pretty much all of our rights freedom taken away i don't know i don't think he told her any of that yet so i don't think she does and if she did find out what would she say would she try to convince him otherwise or would she not or would she try to understand why he's doing it hmm um, anything else? One more thing, I guess, is, yeah, I just really think that Puff trying to kill Komugi would be a mistake, because if the king finds out, dude, he is going to be pissed. I, even if he only remembers a smidgen, like, he's going to be upset because he would have wanted to remember everything, and you took that opportunity away from him, and who are you to make decisions for him, you know? So, whether you, like he said, whether you have my best interests at heart or not, you don't lie to me. Don't hide things from me. I I agree with him. He has the right to know. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I don't know what else to say, so I will wrap it up here. If this is YouTube, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.